Okay, my name is Dr. William Nyalungu. Um, I received a prophecy from the Apostle today. Come, I heard there's, there's somebody who was killed or died in your family. Yes, Lord. Uh, and uh, now these people are also trying to do that on you. Yes, that's true. Uh, uh, you are here now. God wants to protect you. When Thank I look you, at Jesus. you, I just heard that there's uh, somebody was killed. I don't know killed or how. I mean, you, you're that, the one who can tell me better. That's my mom. That's your mom? Yes. What happened to her? She was sick, but she died mysteriously in the hospital. And then now this thing is starting to happen to you. Yes. Because I heard that sometimes you don't see clear. Yes. Huh? Yes. And yes. what is the cause? You don't know. I don't know, yes. Come here, let me pray for you, because God wants to use you. Thank you, Jesus. As he spoke to my life, he said that there is um, someone who has killed in my family. I confirm the prophecy to be true, because my mother died the morning that we were supposed to go to see her before she goes for the operation. We actually got the news that she actually died. And then after that, there were like uh, prophecies uh, from my pastor in the house uh, that said that uh, actually the same because she said she saw a group of people which said and celebrated uh, what happened. So yeah, and then uh, from also what she want me is that I was next to follow. So I really want to thank God today as I came to the house of the Lord because the, pro the apostle has spoken a word of my, my life to say that I will not die because God wants to use me. Amen. And that stands as a weight that is victorious over my life because God has spoken. Hallelujah. How are you feeling right now? I feel so light. I'm so glad uh, because I came here expectant and I was expecting the word of the Lord to speak to my life. And indeed is what happened. Indeed our God never disappoints. We need to pray for marriage. You hear me? Yeah, we need to pray for marriage because there's a spirit of disappointment. Yeah, there is a, it's so huh? much disappointment. It's true what you're saying. I can hear you. So much disappointment. It's you are true facing a serious disappointment. So, yes, man, of God, it's true. What devil is trying to do is try to lock people so that no one favor you with money. Uh, it's true. Yeah? What you're saying is true. Because you were saying if you get money, you will marry. Yeah, it's true. Come on. Receive, receive, receive. Come on. Leave him, leave him, leave him. Come on. Leave him. You're, you're free. <laughs> my pastor from UK. Uh, my name is Prophet Emmanuel Amade. I came from the United Kingdom. Uh, yes, the prophecy that the man of God gave is right because the Spirit of God had been telling me that it's time to move back to Africa. And that's exactly what he said today. So it's absolutely correct. I want to encourage you to go back home. I will encourage you, you can go back home. Thank you, Father. I, I will stand with you in prayers. Thank you, Father. You will have a ministry in, in Nigeria. Yes, sir. Thank uh, you, it's Father. what God told you. Amen. So, that church oh, there, gosh. also, it won't die. Amen. It won't die. The one in the UK, it won't die. But Amen. Go, back, go back home. Come to me. Yes. You can stop there. Come on. Take, take it. Jesus' name. You are anointed. Yes. And today when he told you what God is telling him, how did you feel? Um, I'm very, I'm ecstatic, I'm thrilled because it's confirmed now that this is the next phase of my life. And what are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there as I believe that Almighty God has done it for you in Jesus' name. Amen. I, I want to talk to viewers. I mean, we have a great man of God here. It's always good that any step you want to take, no matter how God is speaking to you, look for someone who is higher than you that can help you and confirm the direction of God's uh, plan in your life. That way you know exactly what you're getting into, that you're getting into it by the Spirit of God. Yeah. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. My name is Kumbo Langkwang. I come all the way from Port Elizabeth. I'm just questioning the issue. This lady, can you just come on? Yes. I'm just hearing the issue of a child. Uh, uh, that you are crying yes, for the child-child issue. Yes, man of God. How long? 
My son is still in the hospital, man uh, of God. He's in the hospital, man of God. Six, six, can you get your money? Uh, you are crying for your child. Yes, man of God. Confirm the prophecy. The prophecy is correct when the man of God spoke about child because I came specifically for my son who is in and out and is still in the hospital even at the present moment. When the man of God was speaking to you, you cried. Eventually this has affected you so much. How did it affect you? Uh, I, 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 in a way that I, I feel so weak seeing him suffering like that and seeing him being in and out of hospital like that, yes, it has, it has affected me greatly. And the man of God today, by the grace of God, declared a word that your son is healed. What does that bring in your life? It brings hope and it brings peace and I believe when I see him, I will look at him and, you know, find, I hope that, I believe that I'll find him, yes. yes. And I believe that today God is using you as, as an example to other women out there who are facing the very same situation that you're facing. Some mothers have lost hope. What can you say to them as I believe that today God has remembered you in Jesus' name? I will also encourage them that they must, in, they must always trust and have hope and believe in Jesus because he is a healer. He's, there's nothing impossible. What is impossible with men? It is possible with Jesus, yes. Please encourage them. Uh, I'm Kulani Mkhava, I'm originally from Ripompo, but now I'm staying on Tembisa, so as in. I was shocked when the prophet told me about uh, Isaac. You will marry, eh? Amen. You hear me? Yes. Uh, because you want to marry, but uh, you don't know who to marry. Yes, man of God. Uh, there's a doubt on you. Yes. Huh? Yes, man of God. Who's Isaac? I don't know. It's affecting me because I'm not, nothing is not moving in my life. And Sarah, I want marriage. I want something, I want someone who to put my ring on my finger. Sarah, I'm, I'm, I want marriage. I want to be happy. And how are you feeling right now today as the man of God has spoken to you? I feel very happy because the man of God has spoken about what was worrying me, which is the part of the marriage. And I am so glad of what the man of God has said through the Spirit of God. What are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there? And uh, she's encouraging everybody to come here in Charis Missionary Church to never lose hope. Uh, as you also, the man of God has never spoken to her, but today the man of God was able to speak to her. So she's encouraging everybody that as you are seeing her here, you too must see yourself here so that the man of God has speak, can speak to you. And she has always dreamt to, to have a man who can marry her. And today she's believing that indeed that man shall marry her in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you. God wants to use you, but you need to pray. You understand? Yes, sir. Because in your heart here, you want to see visions. Yes. But you need to pray. Amen. Huh? Amen. You need to pray. Hey, 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 hey. Please, please, just, just leave. Yes, my name is Edson Makoka. I'm coming from Makwarela in Sibasa, Bembe District. Uh, I received a prophecy today to say that uh, I nearly died because of the sickness 
and I thank God because I also testify about that today. And then that was a, a confirmation to say that I was sick to, to die. God saved you. Thank you, Jesus. I heard God save this man. Thank you, Jesus. You were supposed to be dead by now. Thank you, Lord. Is it true? It's true. Eh? It's true. Because when I look Thank at you, God. I heard God saved you. But you must pray. Eh? Yes. Because these people are behind you. Thank you, Lord. They still want to kill someone by sickness. Yes. Were you not sick? I was sick. Very sick. Okay, let's... I think I'm just getting something else when I speak with you. Thank you, Jesus. You were very sick. Very sick. So I came here. Uh, the man of God prayed for me and I was healed. There come a time in life where we face situations and we don't see that these situations are so serious in the way that they can lead us to death. And today the man of God just confirmed to you that whatever that you were facing in your life was leading you to death. How are you feeling that Jesus saved you? I really thank God that God has disclosed it today to say that I'm not going to die because of the sickness. So I'm going to proceed with my life praying God, pursuing all the plans that he, is, he has for me. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling very excited and I'm happy. <laughs> what can you say to other viewers out there? Viewers all over the world, what I can say is there's nothing impossible with God. Everything is possible with God. Thank you. Uh, the man of God asked me where my mother is. Uh, my name is Kulegani. I'm coming from Bethlehem. And um, the man of God said to me, where is my, my mother? Where's your mom? He's in Petretif. She's sick. If you call your mom, there's a problem of a shallen feet that she's worrying about. I will call him, man of God. Uh, but because she's, you are here now, God saved your mom. Amen. Amen. Then I said to him, he's, she's in Petretif in Pumalanga. Uh, she said, my mother is sick. Uh, having something like a swollen leg, but uh, I don't know anything about that. But I said I will call my mother and find out. And how did it affect you? It affected me so badly because um, I don't know if my mother is sick or not because she didn't tell me anything. Yes, I. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling very great because I know that the man of God said to me, uh, she is healed because I have come here. So I, I believe that she is healed already. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Have you been in Limpopo? No. Because I'm seeing crusade in Limpopo. Amen, man of God. It's like God wants to send you to different places as long as you are here. Amen. You hear me? Amen. I used to dream yourself having many people, see people. Amen. And you are ministering to them. Amen. I so receive. You, so it's going to happen to you. Let me touch you. This is going to happen very fast. God is enlarging your ministry. Amen. I receive because, it, man of God. Because, because there was nothing. Yes. In the ministry. I can't see anything. Yes, man You've of been God. You try to pray, pray, pray so that God will direct you. But Amen. there was nothing. Yes. So as I've touched you here, I know something has happened. I receive it, man of God. This is the, it's not an old problem. Your mom had this. Now you've got the same problem in the left leg. Yes, man of God. Huh? Yes, man in of the God. left leg. Yes. And uh, because I'm seeing this leg started to be like started to be very dried up. Sometimes you work like this. Yes, man of God. Huh? Yes, man of God. You, you, you pull the leg. So your mom had the same, even you said. In other words, I'm breaking generational curse here. I'm Kenele Mapoto from Winnie Zone 11. Um, yes, they did prophesy to me, and it's very true. I've been worried about my studies very long. Always when I'm reading, I'm having thoughts, I'm thinking about where I will go after grade 12 and whatsoever. I'm just hearing about the studies that you wanted to study. Yes, daddy. But there, there's no support. Yes, daddy. Huh? Yes, daddy. 
there is nobody who can try to support what you wanted to study. And this has been giving you thoughts, thoughts. Yes, Daddy. Uh, sometimes you can't sleep. Come. What I'm trying to do, I'm removing these thoughts. So you're matriculating this year? No, I'm matriculating next year. So, as you said that you are having thoughts and you'll be thinking about this thing too much, today the man of God has spoken to you about the thing that I believe was disturbing your studies. How are you feeling right now? Oh, I'm very good. I'm very happy. I'm very relieved. I'm wow. Like, today I'm superb. Did you believe that the man of God will speak to you today? No. But, wow. Yeah. There are many people out there who are facing the very same situation that you were facing, especially young ladies, young men out there who are studying, and they don't know how they are going to end up after matriculating. What can you say to them as God has given you his word today in Jesus' name? Yo, what I can say to them, let them hold on, let, they, let them study, let them continue study, and God will direct. Thank you. We believe that you are coming back with a testimony in Jesus' name. We believe that you are coming back with the testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. There's a serious doubt on you. Doubt, Daddy. Yeah? There's a serious doubt. It's true, Daddy. On you. Even it's now true. when I'm looking at you here. It's true. It's so like many challenges. Huh? So, ma so many challenges. So many attacks. And, and this doubt, what you are saying you are. Uh, my name is Apostle Kupara. Uh, I come from Cape Town. Uh, the prophecy I received from Apostle is really true that I have doubt. Of recent, I've been doubting my calling. Uh, I said I see that I see a lot of doubt, and this has really affected my prayer life. I'm no longer praying as I used to be. I confirm it to be true. He also said I see disagreements with my wife, of which is true. We have been having uh, a lot of dis disagreements of recent, and I confirm that to be true. And I believe uh, with me coming here and with Apostle praying for me, uh, I have got my deliverance. It's, it's weighing me down. It's eh? true. It's weighing me down. It's yeah, because now I can see you have prayed, but you're no longer praying now. That's true. Eh? That's true. But, you know, where's your wife? My wife is in Cape Town. Eh? My wife is in Cape Town. I see you fighting. Yeah, we are facing a lot of challenges. I see, I see you fighting. It's true, it's true, Daddy. Not challenge, you people you are fighting. It's true, Daddy, it's true, Daddy. And uh, there's no agreement. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling light and I'm feeling revived. I was praying that uh, when I just come here, may God revive me. And I think the word that was preached, it was just preached to me. And with the word of prophecy, I, I, I'm really happy. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Say the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I, I see a young lady here. Can you just come? Where's your husband? I need to pray for you. You hear me? Yes. Huh? Yes. Because you are together, but I'm hearing that you want to marry. Amen. You are together here, but I'm hearing you want to marry. Amen. You want to marry? Amen. Did you marry? I paid all the lobola, but the issue that I have is uh, with the blessing of the ring. I don't want anyone to bless me. Huh? I didn't, I wasn't to, wanted to be careful who blesses the ring. So, that's, that's the reason? Yes, that's why we are here, because I had a dream that directed me here. So when I got here, there was a wedding. So, and Mama there mentioned that if we want to get married, we can do that. Mama, let's help these people, we bless them. Amen. Amen. Um, greetings in the name of Jesus. My name is Ntate Tzotezi. I'm from Standerton. And the woman standing next to me is my lovely wife. Her name is Yolanda. Uh, she's uh, Mukwena. Before we can speak about the prophecy of today. Last time when you came for one-on-one, -on -one, I believe you were having the same very problem that the man of God has spoken about it today. Yes, amen. Um, when I was here before, uh, the man of God prayed for me on, during the one-on-one -on -one, uh, because of attacks in my life uh, that are attacking the calling. And yes, even today he confirmed the very same thing that he was talking about then on one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. And he also spoke about marriage. 
he also spoke about marriage and of which is the issue that brought me here today uh, of which I didn't know at first that it was the issue that brought me here I just saw a dream telling me I need to come to Tembisa and the only thing connecting me to Tembisa is Charis Amen. Amen. I saw someone attacking this man it's like when he was sleeping and I saw somebody coming in the dream. Amen. Eh? Amen. Try to do yes. like this. Eh? Amen. Eh? Amen. And if since then you are afraid. Amen. Since it makes you to pray the more. Amen. Because before you sleep. That's why you are careful about someone who have blessed you. Amen. Amen. True, Baba. Eh? True. Very true. Because that dream has really frightened you. Amen. Eh? Amen. Did, she, did he tell you? Yes, he did. He said what? He was just told me that he had a very bad dream and someone was attacking him. It was like, do it like this yes. to him. Mm. And since that day, he's afraid. But I want to tell him that uh, after blessing, God will use him. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And as the man of God has spoken about your issue, how are you feeling right now? Uh, I am feeling very relieved in a way and I'm feeling very blessed to be here today uh, because everything that I came here for uh, was addressed and I praise God because I, we are also praying for my wife here with the issues that the man of God prophesied on, uh, on her life. Look here, look here, I want to tell you this, I want to tell you. We need to pray for Mama. Yes, ma'am. You hear me? Yes. We must pray for your mom. Yes. Because you're always crying about your mom. Yes. Huh? You know what my I'm talking about? My dad. Huh? And my dad. So you are crying why this thing is happening to them. Yes. Sure. Because God said I must carry on speaking with you. confirm the prophecy whether to be true or not I confirm them to be true it's about my mom and my dad they're not feeling well so I've been worrying about them a lot and yeah how did it affect you yeah I was so happy that um, because I've been like when I was like sitting down I've been saying um, connect me connect me about my dad about my mom and the man of God did just that so I was very very happy and I'm relieved and I believe that wherever they are right now they are healed what are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there because you coming here was not only for you but also for your families um, I would advise people to stick to God, pray every day and believe that God will one day touch you because there is a God, He is alive, He is there every day in our lives. So just believe in God and everything will be well for you. It's not the first time you are coming here and the man of God has been prophesying you almost every time when you are here. What are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there, especially to those who don't believe that there is indeed a prophecy. Many be people believe that maybe the man of God is just buying people, putting them aside that today I'm going to prophesy you. As God has been locating you, what can you say to them? Um, what I can say to the viewers is that uh, whenever I come here, I never spoke to the prophet before. And whatever issues that I have in my heart that bring me here, he always addresses those issues. When Lazarus was sitting with, um, when Lazarus was sitting in heaven, and the rich man was also there, um, looking for water from Lazarus, he was telling Abraham that he must send his servant Lazarus to bring him water. And um, what he got was that he didn't believe in the pro because he asked that, can he please go back and tell the people where he's coming from about God, and so that they can change and not experience what he's experiencing in hell. And then what? what was told to him was that people must believe in the prophets before they can even die so there are prophets on earth who are telling us about god all the time and we must believe in the prophets there is no turning back afterwards whatever they say is from god and i believe that uh, the, the apostle here is indeed a man of god who is speaking um, in our lives daily because we are watching him uh, even on the internet and he's always speaking in our lives and i encourage people to do come to charity same 
Amen. 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 We give glory to Jesus for life. I believe that you're coming back with a testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, we are. <laughs> Can you just come here? That lady there. Okay, is you okay? You are, it's like you, you, you have been brought to bring unity. So don't Amen. be surprised. Amen. You hear me? Yes. Eh? yes. Your name is Unity. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, the name is Ngate Kosa name Nem I'm from here Tembisa and yes the prophecy is very much true. I can confirm that. Why are you saying it's true? Wow. Um that it was never that direct when I was talking to me, but I know that he was talking about the wars that have been there with my in laws since I got married. Things were never easy. So when he was talking about that I'm the unity, I can see that since I'm there, things are starting to change. Yeah. Huh? Yes. You understand? Yes. You hear me? Yes. Huh? Stop crying. <laughs> because what these people are doing is to make you not to feel comfortable. Is it true what I'm saying? Yes, Daddy. You are brought to bring unity. Amen. And then go bless you if you do that. Amen. There are blessings that are coming for you. Amen. Whether the devil likes it or not, but they are coming. Amen. I heard your name is what? Unity. Unity. Carry on what you're doing and see what God will do for you. Amen. What's that? You take this person as your father. Take this person as your father. Amen. You hear what I said? Yes. Can you just come here, my brother? How are you feeling? Um, relieved. Relieved, seriously. I think I, I got direction. Yeah. Thank you. Amen. Okay. My name is John Raita. Um, I come from Zimbabwe. Uh, the prophecy is true. Um, uh, my wife actually, she's trying to do a job, a, a business of uh, selling, buying, selling uh, from this side to Zimbabwe. So we are actually struggling uh, financially. That's why the men of, of God were saying, uh, I will need to pray uh, for a job so that you can help uh, my wife. So the prophecy is a true prophecy. Where is your wife? Huh? It's home. Huh? It's home in Zimbabwe. It's Blawai. Zimbabwe. Yeah. It's home in Zimbabwe. Yeah, Blawai. <laughs> you are married? Yes. Huh? Yes. And your wife is in Zimbabwe? Yes. Uh, we need to pray for you to stop this. Okay. Huh? Thank you, God. Thank you. Jesus. You understand? Thank you, God. But you must be faithful to your wife. Eh? Okay. You understand? Okay. Let's pray for a job so okay. that you help your wife. Okay. Can I do that? Yes, please. Must I pray for what? Yes, for God, thanks. How are you feeling? I ah, know I'm well. I'm well. I I actually I'm here actually because no, normally I used to come here and I was saying to myself, ah, well, I, one day can I just uh, be favored one day and then be located? So today when I come in, I say no, I need to go and sit close there by the front so that I can be located. And I just thank God that I am located and I'm. Uh, having somewhere to start so I'm just waiting if the wife comes back she's coming maybe Saturday or Sunday last, next week so when she comes back I think I just have to take uh, this side so that you can see the men of God and be uh, prepared yeah thank you okay thanks Emily. my name is Toby Lebila I'm coming from Fowies confirm the prophecy the prophecy that Daddy gave me he said you, I should stop complaining about finances, which is true. Um, in my heart, more than in, I, I didn't voice it out much, but in my heart, I was complaining a lot because I've been believing in God for great things financially, um, many, many great things, and I haven't seen many of them coming to pass, but I've seen some 
so there's, there is progress, but it's not as fast as I have been wanting them. So I have been complaining in my heart. Um, but Daddy said I must stop complaining, and and he said I'm free. Can you stop complaining? You have stop complaining about finance. Yes, huh? yes, You're free. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good uh, because I believe the word that Daddy gave me. Because the word of the Lord says, whom the Son sets free is free indeed. And I believe because God said I'm free, then surely I am free. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. I was hearing that you were supposed to be rich by now. Yes, man of God. Huh? Yes, man of God. You were supposed to be rich by now. But yes, man of God. But I know that I know that long time ago. Huh? Someone told me long time ago. Someone told you? Yes. So you know him? He's my brother. Huh? He's my brother. I'm hearing that he was supposed to be a millionaire. Yes, man of God. He's but, been, but there's a spirit in the family yes. that block you people. Jesus. Yes, man Even of God. Even this one. Jesus. Can you just go and stand there? Yes. You are under the same curse. Yes, man of God. You people, you try many things. Are you together? Yes. Are you related? Thank you, Jesus. I'm married to you. you are married to this one? Yes. yes ma I'm sure you're the one who can tell us better. You people, when you get money, you don't know what you have done with it. It's, yes. it's not true. It's true. It's true, man of God. There's yes, a spirit true. of destruction. Yes, man of God. That is working against your family. Yes, man of God. But because you are here today, let's destroy this spirit. Oh, yes. thank you, You Jesus. give us a testimony. Okay, yes. I confirm all the prophet and Jalea corner. Yawazi, who you can use. So, I mean, I can come by it again in Lang Puma corner. So, go on, Professor, Prophet Akshilo, who you can use. Um, they know it too. One what to flow meza from the day we were born. I even get pain on my arms, but I don't know what was paining me since I was born. But today I'm great, I'm glad because. O prophet, um, chelele wote, yele kenga gati sipege na yose umde. I'm feeling, I'm feeling blessed. I'm feeling blessed today. Amen. Thank you. I'll take it. Okay. My name is Musa Musawa Kemsongo from Deben. Uh, the man of God prophesied that he saw a spirit in our family that is causing poverty, and that's exactly what we came here for because we are struggling and. Uh, no one is prospering, no one rises in the family. And of now, among all my siblings, I'm the only one working, and uh, it's tough for all of us. So that is why we came here to seek the face of God. How are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm feeling blessed uh, right now, uh, and I thank God for the prophecy that the man of God gave us, and I believe that it has brought. Uh, breakthrough and deliverance in my family. I thank God. Thank you. Amen. Let me cut this thing on you here. Come, you spirit of Satan. Out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, your spiritual husband. Come here. I see a spiritual husband on you. Yes. And it makes you to hate men. Yes. Eh? It's true. When you look at men, men makes you angry. Eh? Yeah, I hate men so much. Eh? It started you hate men. Yeah. My name is Anna, and the prophecy is true. I've been hating men because every time I go out with a man, I don't want to go out with them again because these spirits, there are so many people they have told me about the spirit, uh, black magic, churches, but no one has able to take it out away from me. 
So I'm so happy that the man of God has located it and sent it away for good this time. But the spiritual husband, the spiritual husband, come on, the spiritual husband, come on. Your spiritual husband. Come. You are free. How are you feeling? I'm feeling much better now. I was very sick when I came in. My stomach was aching. I couldn't even stand up. I just flown in today and I haven't slept for 36 hours. Thank you. Yeah, I thank man of God. God bless him. And thank you. Perfect hours. The baby is coming. Receive this baby. Come. We need to pray for this lady. Eh? Yes, man of God. I must pray for her. She's worrying a lot okay, about the situation you are facing. Yeah. She's worrying a lot. <laughs> Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whatever that has been planted in my journey. Whatever that has been planted in my journey. I say, ah! I say, ah! Come out of me, come out of me! Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Out, 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 out. Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Out, 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 out. Come out, 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 come out. Out, 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 out. In out. Jesus' name. Amen. Brother, do you know why she's worried? Yes, man of God. Huh? Yes. Why she's worried? Why this lady she's worried? You, you don't know? <laughs> no. Can you speak, sister? <laughs> speak. Why are you worrying about this, brother? Huh? I've got a lot of problems. Huh? I've got lots of problems. I can't hear what she's saying. <laughs> the situation. Yes, man of God. Huh? Please help me, man of God. I'm suffering. This lady. I'm suffering. Oh, Jesus. This lady. Oh, Jesus. You want her to be your wife? Oh, eh? of you want this lady to be your wife? Yes. Is it true? Yes. And she wants to help you. Yes. But she's suffering and you are suffering too. Yes. But now she will help you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. They say, Can you just come on? Come. You must stop worrying from God has done it. <laughs> God has done it. There's a baby. You? Come up. Come. There's also a job that is coming to you. Thank you. Because you have been searching for a job. I receive. Eh? Thank you. You have been searching for a job for a long time. Yes. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Thank you, Jesus. Take it, take it. Take it take Thank it. you. I receive it. My name is Maputi Mahaka from Limpopo. Moroto umparo fiti lekari. I was been it's been a long time. Kinaka na limereko. So, Mamata, Umpuru, I got a prophet, Sayar Kukmani Mereko, and the Tabi. You affect Tilejon. How did it affect you? In Afghan Foyers, I'm Hakina Kanel Mereko. So, Katamahote, I put her maybe Mahote, Gimolo Robert Tokmana Mereko is Tokmana Mereko. So, Unalis is someone who will next to a Gilongoyo, and I'm putting her a recreating, or Tokmana Mereko, if I believe. 
So Mamta Bishop, I'm profiting like my work, man. I'm very good in that case. Uh, my name is George, uh, originally from Mozambique. Uh, what the man of God spoke concerning the the the, the prophet, the prophet is true. I had a baki. Uh, I failed to pay the baki because I failed to pay the baki. So, but he prophesied me that there is a business that is coming. And I believe that that business, I have received it by faith. Uh, and I feel happy because of the word of encouragement and the word of prophecy. And I believe that... You have been trying to do business, but it's not working. Huh? Amen. Where is the lady? You always have the lady like this. A short lady. Uh, why where, where is the bucky? They took it away. You took it away. I failed to pay it. You failed to pay it? Yes. God will honor you. Let me pray for you. Let me pray for you. Come on. You are free. You hear me? Huh? The prophecy will come to pass. Thank you. My name is Brian Nejifume. This is my wife, Dimakazu Nejifume. I am very happy today. A man of God came to me and prayed for me. As he was praying, there were a lot of things I was thinking, meditating on the word of God, to say this is my day today. So I had a lot of things in my head and my thoughts to say he will touch, but he touched the main thing that I needed in my life, a breakthrough in my business. There's something that is coming out. That's true. Dad. In your private here. That's true. Come on, you demon. Marriage is on your way. Marriage is on your way. I, re I received it. No. Did you buy a car? Yes, did. Yeah. You bought a car? Yes, did. Eh? Yes, did. Okay. Let me see a car. Thank you. When did you buy it? June. June? Yes. Uh, I'm not the one, it's not the one I'm talking about. Okay. Which one is that? It was for a Nissan. It was eh? for business. Eh? It was for business. What is that? Nissan. Nissan Almera. Uh, I'm seeing a car of business. Amen. A car that you want to buy for business. Amen. Eh? Thank you, Jesus. Because you were worrying about income issue. Amen. Is it true what I'm saying? Very true. Sir. Now you say you want to buy a car for business. Is it true what I'm saying? Yes. Amen. Eh? Yes. Amen. So you will buy it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That I was worried about uh, our income. Uh, we have a business and transportation business which yes by the grace of god is getting where we want it to be but i was still worried about the cars that we are having so he asked us whether we bought a car or not we said yes we bought a car because we just bought a car a uh, two months or three months ago then he said no this is not the car that i'm talking about there's another car that is coming and yes i was thinking about uh, praying about another car for god to help us in our business and the man of god today he touched it so we believe that it's on the way in Jesus' name. How are you feeling? We are very, very excited and very happy today that we have got our breakthrough. For that prophecy has brought deliverance and breakthrough in our family and in our, and in our business. What can you say to the viewers out there? I can say holding on unto God and depending totally to God, it helps with everything. Today I'm standing before you rejoicing for the things that is yet to come. But I know it is already here, as a man of God has spoken, as is here in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Mohadi. I am a man of God. 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 
uri zivile dilo tse dintshi ka ra bophelo ba ka bo re bophelo ba ka buye buye le scan ke le bua muruti makhana ne sa le mudimu yo lo rene o mo file matla uri a ri fodishe can you just come sister this one i want to pray for you eh eh it will change your life yes because your life is mixed up yes huh? yes and if i talk about your life it won't be very good yes because i'm just see the way you were living before yes huh? yes but you want you are ready to change yes is it true yes it's huh? true you are ready to change and already you have got hatred now yes because of what happened to you yes but god loves you you can just forgive everyone yes and you also ask forgiveness you must ask god forgiveness i'll pray for you eh okay so this will change your life <coughs> leave it down ke mo lebo ga kudu kudu ka matla ke lebo wa se andire tse o sa ona na se ke kwa ke lukulugile dile tsala ke be ke le na tsho di tshuile bo phelene ba ka ke be ke sa gone hore nka phela nta le modimo ke be ke phela ke rapela ke rile ke bona nta tema khana le sa ka ra phone ka ke putsa re ke nka ka ke re ke na nta tema khana le sa ke tlo fola ene ke tlo khuma na pholosho ka ra yona ke tlo khuma na pholo ye kholo ya le rene ke fa ke modimo ke le bo nta tema khana le sa ke le bo modimo a ile a ntisha ka mo ke re ke ne ye ba ile ba nthapelela ka le na la Jesu amen thank you where is your wife your wife Sit down. Eh? I'm Edwin Kuna. I'm from Guyana. Uh, apostles called me, asking me where's my wife. I said to him, she's in Guyana. He said to me, she's not well. She's sometimes uh, feeling uh, weak. I said, I said, yes, it's true. She said to me, who is Kensani? I said to him, Kensani is my younger sister of my wife. She said to me, she's not well. I. you have to 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 pray for us all of them who are not well and it's true and but now i'm feeling lightly just because you prayed for me again we need to pray for her and pray for you yes uh, because you people now sickness has started to enter you people okay and even your wife yes so most of the time she say she feel very weak yes she course. always tell you i'm weak i'm weak it's true dude. and what are you saying about that so we need to pray for you people because you are facing a lot of attacks yes dear huh? yes dear kensani us kensani uh kisbarsak huh kisbarsak kensani eh uh, the younger sister of my my wife also she's not well yeah let me pray for you all of them are not well i'm not feeling well i'm lightly even my i was uh, uh, complaining with my feet my foot was uh, always uh, hot and and heavy but now I I'm I'm feeling well I'm good now I'm I'm healed I'm healed by the name of Jesus Christ thank you I'm thank you can you just come brother this one uh, from china you're from china yes huh? yes yes from china beijing i want to pray with you amen you understand amen yeah because you love god you want to follow god but amen Uh, and you want to be used by God but you are, you are disappointed yes lord yes it's uh, definitely true. i'm uh, joshua and uh, i'm from beijing from china china and uh, this is special day for me uh, the first time to be here and i was very excited because you see uh, when i was in china i so tried to uh, you see uh, hard to get uh, to visit youtube even because it's blocked it stopped everything is under control from the government and you see but uh, you know the lord lead me here for because of business i was in the business field and the the apostle said that uh, i was uh, serving in the business and also i follow the god every the, the prophecy regarding me is very definitely true satan is disappointing you on financial yes. breakthrough yes huh? yes papa and then on the issue of business yeah right huh? yes on the issue of business satan is disappointing you mm -hmm. it's like you have got people that you join with and these people disappoint you they yeah. work against you all the time yeah, yeah. is it true what i'm saying yes yeah. yes and uh, god say i must anoint you because come on 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 and when you come here you will say you want to be anointed amen yes that's what i ask so receive it amen. 
And uh, you see, I, I, I indeed was uh, a little bit disappointed because you know, during the in the in the process of serving serving the Lord, I, I made a lot of uh, uh, attacks from the demons from the Satan. And I know that the Lord is faithful. The Lord is uh, is uh, is good for me, and that's why He led me here to meet the apostle, to meet the so many good brothers, sisters. It's really a pleasure, honor, and really please God. Everything, the glory, the kingdom, and the authority all belongs to God. Hallelujah! All to Him. Thank you. Uh, you said that when you came here, you were disappointed, and that as the man of God has spoken unto you. How are you feeling right now? Well, I'm a, I'm feel quite uh, you see, uh, peace and joyful. Uh, every I know that every uh, nothing nothing can stop me right now. I'm just full of uh, confidence, full of power. I know that I got a mountain. Well, by the way, uh, before I came here, I asked the Lord that maybe I can get anointing to serve the Lord and to, to help the people in China because they, they don't have the message here. They don't have the, uh, they need deliverance, they need healings, but there's no people like an apostle in China. So that's the situation. That's why I asked the Lord, maybe if the Lord is merciful, maybe I can be here and get the anointing. That's a prophecy also. Uh, that's a very accurate. You see, I'm very excited. I'm very, very lucky. Amen. There are many people out there who still don't believe in prophecy. There are many people out there who still believe that uh, for the prophet to speak to you, maybe he has bought you or he has taken to to interview you that today I'm going to speak with you. And today you have seen the power of God upon your life. What can you say to the viewers out there? Uh, hold on the Lord Jesus Christ. He is our Savior. Only worship him and uh, also believe in his prophecy, believe in his servant. His uh, faithful, his love, and his uh, justice, his righteousness. Everything belongs to him. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, my name is Nashem Sara. I'm a pastor from Faith International Ministry, and it is located in Johannesburg. What the man of God said is 100% true. There's a dream you have dreamed. You saw, you saw someone chasing you. That is true. And uh, from there, what you are crying for is not happening. That is very true, man of God. Huh? That is hundred percent true. You were supposed to have asked in the family what they were worshiping. And then you are the only person now who is trying to follow God the way in pastoring. That is very true, hundred percent. What you are saying is very true. And right now, as you are speaking to me, I saw you ministering to me. I was saying, God, just do what you have to do in my life. I dreamt, uh, it was a week ago, someone was attacking me in my dreams. And in my life, I've been trying to do a lot of things, but they, and they were not moving. Nothing was moving in my life. And right now, I'm pursuing in pastoring, and I'm working under prophet blessing. And I thank God for the deliverance that has come in my life. Amen. How are you feeling? I'm feeling blessed. I'm feeling the joy. I don't know how it can me, but I just thank God for what He's done in my life. Amen. Thank you.